Ever since Abraham, peace be upon him, was guided to the site of the house and authorized to rebuild it, Allah the Almighty ordered him to cleanse it from all manifestations of shirk, idols, filth, and defilements, both sensual and moral, throughout the ages. Muslims have attached great care to the affairs of the two holy mosques. Glory be to God, he has made his holy house a safe sanctuary and a means of support for people. They visit it over and over, yet they crave more. The hearts of the lovers of this holy house are ever attached to it. Whenever it's mentioned, they yearn. Whenever they miss it, they grow fonder. By the grace of Allah, the lands of the two holy mosques are the places most favored, honored, and highly esteemed by all Muslims. Ever since Prophet Abraham made his first call for Hajj on these lands and until the end of time. Based on royal directives and guided by the Quranic injunction and sanctify my house, the general presidency of the affairs of the Holy Mosque and the Prophet's mosques provides the best services to visitors. The Department of Cleaning and Furnishing of the Holy Mosque is especially keen to keep these prime services around the clock. The use of high-tech programs, equipment, and machinery that best suit the nature of the work in the vicinity of the Holy Mosque attests to the optimum management that supervises and follows up the cleaning and furnishing of the Holy Mosque. Serving the crowds of pilgrims gathered in one place at one time requires an effort characterized with precise planning and close supervision. Therefore, the cleaning and furnishing department employs a team of trained personnel. The tasks are currently undertaken by more than 200 official and seasonal employees who work under the presidency. In addition, there are more than 2,700 workers, 260 controllers, and 100 supervisors, male and female, who work under the operating contractor. They work in four shifts to provide 24-7 coverage. A fleet of 40 vehicles, 120 waste carriers, and 60 washers have been provided by the General Presidency to serve the Holy Mosque and its piazzas. The Holy Mosque at Makkah is washed four times a day, starting with the Tawaf and Sai areas, Mount Safa and the Piazzas, the Wudu and Zamzam water areas, and around 14,000 WCs are disinfected four times a day. Despite the huge crowds of visitors around the clock in Ramadan and during Haji season, the cleaning does not stop. The work is efficiently performed without affecting the pilgrims. The entire Tawaf area is fully and proficiently washed in less than 30 minutes.
marble floors, entrances to the sacred mosque, bridges, minarets, stairs, doors, facades, and columns are thoroughly washed, drains are cleaned, disinfectants and pesticides are sprayed. Currently, the area regularly washed in the Holy Mosque and its precincts totals nearly 700,000 square meters. This area will double after the new expansion up to 1.8 million square meters. Washing the Kaaba. Under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques, the Kaaba is to be washed twice a year. Water used for the washing is mixed with rose perfume in addition to Zamzam -zam water mixed with luxury oud. All placed in brass vessels specially made for this purpose. The Holy Mosque, along with its piazzas, is furnished with nearly 30,000 luxurious green carpets, which are regularly sanitized and cleaned three times a day. A top-notch washing machine is provided for washing carpets. Cleaning carpets passes through five stages, dusting, washing, drying, exposure to the sun's heat, and finally, re-knitting and sewing. The average amount of garbage collected per day is up to 25 tons in normal days. The quantity reaches up to 90 tons per day during seasons. The Presidency provided approximately 2,000 metal and plastic containers for garbage collection inside and outside the Holy Mosque. Plastic bag rolls are available at the entrances of the Holy Mosque for shoe keeping Around 2 million bags are utilized during the seasons. The Presidency directs the polishing of the Kaaba door, the Makwam Ibrahim, Abraham Station, the Hijir lanterns, the gates, the Mashaf shelves, the gold-coated items, in addition to the dividers inside the Holy Mosque throughout its piazzas. The Kaaba, the Black Stone, the Multazam, and the Yamini Corner are scented with fine types of oud and rose perfume every day. The visitors are occasionally scented with oud perfume and incense. The carpets and hallways are scented with rose water. Around 2,000 liters of scents are used per month for this purpose. Thanks to Allah, all these services have been made possible through the unlimited support of the prudent leadership that saves no effort to serve the two holy mosques. Under the ongoing supervision of the General President of the Holy Mosque and the Prophet's Mosque, the Vice President of the Affairs of the Holy Mosque, as well as the efforts of men who deem the service of the Holy Mosque and its visitors an act of obedience to Allah and a means of seeking His pleasure. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The Ummah will remain safe and sound as long as they duly honor the sacredness of the city, Makkah. Once they neglect it, they will be doomed. Narrated by Ahmad and Ibn Majah. Ibn Hajar graded this hadith as Hassan.